Hey guys, what's up? So today I'm in Buena Vista. It's an area of Las Marias, Puerto Rico. And today we are getting fresh water from a natural spring. Now, one of the things I love about Puerto Rico is just the sheer amount of natural springs scattered across the island. And I mean, people have been using these forever. I mean, dating back to the Taino Indians, the Spaniards that came here, and, and today these are still widely used. One of the great things about Puerto Rico are these natural springs, and they're definitely good to know their locations near you. Now, this one, this one's a good 30 minutes from my house. Uh, the reason why I chose this spring is because my family lives right up the hill and we've been using this stream for genera spring for generations. So, just one I know. And I love the drive up here, it's beautiful. Just down the hill is a waterfall and a little bit further down, a couple minutes away is the river. So, I mean, it's just a great area. One thing I will say about the springs, they're not easy to find. Definitely, if you, if you wanna find a spring, if you're on the island, uh, ask a local, they can point you to them. It's also good to know the location of a spring uh, during hurricane season. I mean, these springs can be lifesavers during hurricane season. I mean, I'm sure all y'all are familiar with what happened during Hurricane Maria. But, I mean, these springs have been a lifeline for many a Puerto Rican. And the water is amazing. It's just so cold and delicious. And, ah, oh, I don't even know how to describe it. There's like a sweetness to it. Yeah. So even if there's not a hurricane or any natural disaster... I'd say coming up, if you have a local spring, definitely like get some spring water. It's great drinking water. Oh, that's so good. Oh. Oh, you guys have no idea how good that is. God, it's so cold and refreshing straight from the mountain. Yeah. I would say if if you come to Puerto Rico even to visit, man, this is just something like talk to a local, find where a spring's at nearby. <laughs> I mean, it's water, but it's definitely worth the experience, guys. Hey guys, what's up? So yeah, I decided to stop at the river. Just like literally like a minute away from like the fresh spring here in Buena Vista. So uh, we're about to do something really stupid. So I'm going to try to get a shot inside the tunnel. But... I know this is going to be slippery, but let's see. All right, so I got to walk way over there. Cool. Actually, let me go across and show you what I'm trying to shoot. Hopefully, well, I'm within frame, but... Oop. All right, guys, so I'm trying to get a picture of that through the bridge. Um, let's see if I can do it. Oh, yeah, before I forget. So I wanted to go to a nursery today that's fed by a waterfall, by the spring actually becomes a waterfall. It's in between this river and that spring in Buena Vista. But, uh, unfortunately, they, they are open from 8 a.m. to 12 p.m. Uh, 
beautiful waterfall. Uh, next time I'm up here, I'm going to try to get up here a little earlier and get that video for you guys because it's absolutely amazing. Uh, so anyway. <sighs> Alright, let me, let me try to get this shot. <laughs> Come on, guys. guys hey I think I got the shots I wanted I'm pretty happy with them huh. I'm like a chill day at the river in the middle of nowhere it's beautiful yeah before we take off let me give you a quick little tour of the river <laughs> all right guys So here's the bridge. We can just walk right under. I'm not going to. But uh, right here, there's a little path. To the right, it gets deep, so. <laughs> Always slippery. This pool, because of the runoff, this pool is like, it's not deep, deep, but you can definitely chill, relax, wait in it. What I was photographing earlier. So that's a good little swimming hole right here if you just want to wait and relax. And uh, take you further downstream a little. Uh, see down there, all the river rocks and everything. Ah, it's beautiful out here. And hardly anybody comes to this spot. You'll see a person here and there, like a local, every blue moon. But for the most part, this is pretty much empty year-round. It's not easy to get to, but hey. <laughs> Matter of fact, you know, I think Hayden, uh, most of you guys that follow my channel know Hayden Eskew, obviously. I'm pretty sure Hayden's been here several times in uh, some of his videos. So, and he was a bit more extensive than I am. I just stopped because I was nearby. But, uh, yeah, if you want to go rummage through his videos, I'm pretty sure he's he's been here several times. All right, guys, that's about it. I'm going to get my chunk gloves back on and hit the road. So, yep, if you like this video... Well, obviously like it. <laughs> Subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. All that good stuff. But uh, I'll catch you in the next one.